he hit me in my hip so hard. I felt it in my foot for a week. You understand? This is Jonathan Aguilar, fifth pro boxing fans, joined by cruiserweight contender Brandon Glanton, US contender, uh, very highly rated in pretty much all the governing bodies. Uh, Brandon, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing amazing, man. Doing amazing. So uh, you were just telling me that you were uh, in camp with Lawrence Acoli before. Uh, tell us a bit about sort of the guys you you've been in the ring with because you've been in the ring with a lot of good guys. Yeah, well, um, as far as uh, sparring, I mean, obviously I sparred multiple champions, uh, O'Coli, uh, um, Noel Geber, uh, even back when Stavern was champion, uh, man, Badu Jack, I've been in there with pretty much everybody, but Terbiev, some good, some good names, man, got a, got a lot of, uh, got a lot of work in over the years. Mm. So, uh, like I said, you're very highly rated uh, in at least three, if not four, of the governing bodies. Um, ready for the world title shot? Yeah, man. Whoever will give me that shot first, uh, the belt's coming with me, wherever it's going. You know, we've already... I feel like I've done everything they need me to do. I don't know what else they want to see. Uh, but, you know, politics and boxing is, is, is crazy. So, I'm here. I'm ready. Uh, I'm calling everybody out. So whoever will bite first. I mean, talk to me about some of the champions you've got. Uh, first of all, we'll start with uh, the guy in my country, Chris Billum Smith. Uh, yeah, what do you think of what do you think of him? You know, I think I think Billum is a, is a pretty good champion. Um, as I've said before, I don't think anything is inherently special about him. He's a very hardworking dude. He's like myself. You know, he's a very hardworking. Um, I know he's gonna grow. What do you call it? He's gonna grow. He's gonna grow. That's what he does. So, um, definitely an exciting fighter. Uh, I think he and I will put on a hell of a show. I think. Uh, I think that would be a sellout. You got two punches, and uh, yeah, I uh, I would be blessed if he gave me an opportunity. But I think I think Billum is a bit smarter than that. I don't think he. I think it's a it's a reason why he won't say my name. So we'll see. I've heard he wants to come to the U.S. Oh no, Chris! Maybe we can have a your de U.S. debut here. So we'll see what happens. How, how do you think you'd match up to him stylistically? He's a uh, you know comes forward, very entertaining style. How, how do you think you and him would? How would that go as a fight? You know, on the outside, I would like to say, you know, it'll be a great. Fight, um, go back and forth, but when you really, really look at how he fights and how I fight, it'll be one of those fights that'll be hard to judge. I, just, I definitely think it'll come down to a knockout, uh, just because we're, we're both punchers, we both uh throw a lot of punches, we both coming forward, so those one of those fights where the judges are kind of having a hard time there. Um, but like I said, I think I'm a bit stronger than him. Um, you know, as far as his gas tank, I don't. I think he's he's definitely has the win, but I don't know. I think I think I could outwork Chris. So, uh, definitely a knockout though. That fight's not going twelve. Mm. And then uh, we also got Jai Opataya, uh, who you know had that win over Breedis uh, in the rematch. Uh, a lot of people had that fight close, but yeah, what do you think of of Jai? You know, I think Jai is a great champion. Um, I've said before in other interviews, I'd like to fight him too. I'd like to fight him last for the simple fact he's pretty quick. Um, he's a southpaw, so I struggle to find southpaw. I, I struggle to find sparring, period. Uh, but especially southpaw sparring. Um, you don't really find guys who are that big, that quick, and southpaw um, easy here. So I would definitely need time to get to work, but Again, he's always uh very, very good up front. He's very sharp. But towards the later end of the fight, I think I could uh come through and show him what a man is. So uh I think I love the of the current champions, I think he's the best one, that's for sure. I hands down the best. Um my manager told me anything that's a shot we can get as well. So we'll see we'll see what happens. You know?
We'll see what happens. And uh, just talk to me quickly about uh, Gilberto Ramirez. Uh, he's obviously been moving through the weight divisions. Uh, yeah, how would you how would you stack up against him? How would the fight go between you and Zerdo? Well, I think I knock him up. Too big for him. Um, you know, I respect him as a champion. I respect him what he did in the like, heavyweight division. Um, yeah, I knock him out. I think uh, their weight class is for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, he's another one of Southpaw will probably have a little trouble finding sparring from, but you know, we saw in his last fight, he was able to box a little bit more and and work on some other things. But I know Zerto, and I know he wants to come forward. He wants to fight. He's a fighter at heart. So there won't be any boxing in that fight, that's for sure. And uh, I've seen your rated at three by the WBA. So you're, you're pretty much on the verge of that world title shot. Number four rated, and I don't know how much you know about him, is uh, Chev Clark out of the UK, out of the UK rather. Uh, have you heard of him? And you know, is that someone? You know, if if the WBA said, look, let's, or you know, his promoter Eddie Hearn said, let's make the fight, come to the UK, would you do that? You know what? We agreed to that fight before, and we were going to make the fight, but I think um, he he got an easier fight or something else because you know, obviously, he's an he's an he's an Olympian. Um, you know, they're trying to. Make sure he 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 pans it out. So I I get it. You know I was I was I was a little surprised when they asked to fight me, but uh, we immediately say yeah. He's an explosive fighter. Um, I don't know how he fares too much in deep water with with other guys who are, who is like himself, but uh, he can fight. It's explosive. I don't think like, again. I don't think it's anything special about him, but he does work hard. Um, I think his biggest thing is being so explosive. Mm. But yeah, I'd be down to do it. I mean, I think he needs to kind of earn to fight me. But at the end of the day, I'm a fighter. You're supposed to fight. Um, I don't. I don't see. I can't see them making that fight right now because it, it just doesn't make sense. He hasn't put the work in to get here, but. By all means, if it, if it happens, maybe we could do it for an eliminator. Maybe we could do it for something. But uh, here's another one. Uh, uh, I don't think he he, would, he realizes how big I am. So but some people care about that. Some people don't. But, yeah, I don't think it's Jeff Clark won't say it part. And have you got a fight date coming up? Or are you still waiting? Yeah, not right now. Tonight, I'm actually uh, going to perform with TCL. I don't know if you know what that is. It's a team combat league. Moment. We'll do like a one-round fight with them, but nothing nothing on the professional side. Um, heard some things and talked to me about August, September, but nothing confirmed right now. Okay, so you're still waiting. Uh, I did also see on Instagram that you sparred uh, Roy Jones Jr. back a few years ago. Uh, before his fight, yeah, talk yeah. to us about that. You know, what was that experience like for you? Oh man, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Roy's my guy, man. He's been a friend of mine since I was in college. So, um, he invited me out to come out and get some rounds with him to help him get ready for Mike Tyson. So that was fun, man. Uh, Roy still, Roy still got a little speed, you know. Don't, don't, don't. At least, at least then he did. So, uh, Roy, Roy's a very good friend of mine, man. I love the guy. Yeah, because I spoke to someone who sparred him as well before that fight, and they said, you know, he was still really quick. Yeah, yeah, man, listen, it's like riding a bike, you know, he might not be able to do it at the highest levels like he was before, but he still has those attributes in there, so, hey, Roy, Roy's a fighter, man, he'll he'll never change, you know, I'm sure he, I'm sure to this day he's still sparring, so. And uh, just final one, uh, you mentioned Arthur Baturbiev. Um, what do you think? How did he do against uh Bivol? No, I think Bivol beats him. Yeah, I think, and, and again, two very, very good fighters. But in my head, Bivol is a master of distance and timing. I just don't think Perturbia will be allowed to get that close to him. Maybe a few times, but I think after Bivol. After Bivol feels that first, that first cracking shot, 
you know, the alarm will go off like, okay, not again. You know, some people will say I'm wrong. You know, I just believe in time and distance. I believe in boxing and schooling. I think uh, I got I got to edge it up to be bold, man. Mm. Uh, just wanted to ask you. If he catches you, we've seen uh, Baturbio's shin can be a bit suspect. He might get knocked out. Interesting. I mean, uh, I just wanted to ask you about your sparring with Baturbio because uh, I've spoken to a few people about sparring him. And uh, one guy, you might know him, uh, oh. Lionel Thompson, Lonnie B, uh, out in Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, he described it as similar to when he had a car crash. Uh, being in there with with Baturbiev. So, what was your experience like sparring him? What is it? Is oh my god! Is, what are you kidding me? Like I tell people, he hit me in my hip so hard, I felt it in my foot for a week. You understand? The guy is an is an incredibly strong puncher. Um, you know, it, it it's different. It's like nothing I had ever felt before. Obviously, that was years ago. That was in 2017. But at that point, I was like, "Wow, okay, this is this is what this is what it is. This is what I'm dealing with." So yeah, I grew a lot from that. I learned from that, and um, it was my pleasure. And I've been invited back a few times. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it together. We couldn't get them the same track to go. Either I had a fight coming up, or you know, they wanted me to bring my weight down to do this, do that, but we couldn't do it. But great, great, great fighter, man. Great fighter. Learned a lot. He taught me a lot. As a matter of fact, he, Baturbiev and, and that camp I went through helped mold me into the fighter I am today. So definitely, definitely a good guy to learn from. Mm. Well, uh, Brandon, uh, appreciate you coming on, talking to me on Pro Boxing Fans. Tell the viewers uh, where they can follow you. Hey, listen, everybody go check me out everywhere at Team Bulletproof. IG, Team Bulletproof Official on TikTok. Obviously, Team Bulletproof on Facebook. And uh, don't blink. Don't blink. More action coming soon. That's all. Actually, uh, just one last one. I'm pretty sure I was having a look on your Instagram. You post all these sort of different type of videos and things. Tell us a bit about yeah. that because not, not, not really any fighters, not many fighters anyway, do that kind of promotion. So, yeah, tell us a bit about that. Hey, you know what? It's it's all it's all fun and games, you know. People uh seem to like it when I'm when I'm when I'm kicking tail. So, you know, we'll post something small every now and then. But obviously those top guys we don't we don't we don't post that. But it is it's all just for just for fun, you know what I mean? Especially a little more combat, uh a little more combat scenes. Mm. It's always fun. People like to take a look at it. But no, I'm very serious about my craft and um anytime I can have some fun with it. I like to. So, then now don't get it twisted. I, I punch very hard. And I work very hard. But sometimes you got to step away from that just to enjoy what you do. So, Instagram allows me to do that. Well, uh, everyone check that out. Uh, Brandon Glanton uh, coming for the smoke at the top of the cruiserweight division. Absolutely. And, uh, we'll see you, I'm sure, in a big fight very soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't blink.